17-year-old Esther is trying to balance her second year of high school in Mamprusi in northern Ghana with being a new mother. While one in three pregnant girls don't return to school, Esther says she is determined to complete her education. It is a mistake. I want to be a doctor, and I will work hard to achieve that goal. While Esther gets some help from her mother, a government program is also supporting her return to class. But this one has only one, which is called uh, Ghana is one of 38 African countries working to educate pregnant girls or mothers about the benefits. Since the program was implemented five years ago, more than 10,000 girls have gone back to school. Many take their babies too. Those days that uh, it was not permissible or it was not allowed for them to come back with the pregnancy, some, when they got pregnant, in a way they try to terminate, they don't lose their life. It will affect them in future in bearing children. So the policy has actually helped. This time they are free to come to school. They don't even feel shy. They sit in class, meet with their colleagues, and they learn. There were 82 pregnancies in this municipality alone during the last academic year. Many here are poor, which often contributes to the high teen pregnancy rate. You have three or four people, mother, five children, living in the same room. Some of them are adolescent. They have gotten to the stage where they have some of these challenges coming up. So because they are crowded in their rooms, they are forced to go out, mingle up with their colleagues and push them into some of these things. Ghana's government says more than half a million teenagers became pregnant between 2016 and 2020, some just 10 years old. While free education in Ghana means nine out of ten children are enrolled in primary schools, almost a third drop out due to pregnancy. The government hopes awareness campaigns will encourage more young women, such as Esther, to stay in school. Despite the challenges of being a new mother, she's also planning to complete her education too. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera.